Okay, so I'm in Bangor in North Wales today. i am just finished quite a productive day of work. And now I'm heading to the ferry port to catch a ferry across to Ireland. Okay, I have to give a pre-warning right now, a bit of grossness. So by far, the worst thing about my lifestyle and being in the forest and things like that is ticks. Ooh, I hate ticks. There aren't very many things that I hate. I hate ticks. Ooh. Normally it's more of a concern in like May, June, July. And so by like August and September, it's kind of feels like the season's kind of over. And so, uh, you know, I don't, I don't worry too much. But just found maybe the biggest tick I've ever seen right in the middle of my back. So no, you know, normally I'll, I'll check myself for ticks and uh, if I do happen to have one, then I, you know, I've just got a little tweezer and I can just get them out. But this one is on like the most inaccessible section of my back. So I don't really know what to do. Now it's six o'clock, my ferry leaves at 8.30. I need to be there at 7.30 at the very latest. That's the last opportunity for me to check in. Ah! What am I gonna do? Okay, I've just seen a sign to a hospital here in Bangor, so I'm gonna try that one first. Ooh. Ow, boo. My sound, issues with my sound. Yeah, I'm just gonna run in with my tweezers and just see if I can get someone to take it out, because I hate ticks. Sorry for the grossness. I apologise for the grossness. It's really gross. Right. Hi there. How's it going? Yeah, just wondering if you can help me because I'm on my way to catch a ferry and I've just found a tick right in the middle of like an unreachable part of my back. I'm just wondering if there was someone who could just really quickly just take it out. Well, I need to be at the port at like like quarter past seven at the latest. Okay, just take a seat. Okay. Okay. I'll and call it through. It'll be like 15 minutes, you say? Yeah, about 15, 20 minutes. Okay, yeah. cool. All right, okay. thanks a lot for that. A bit worried. They put me in for a thing like in 15 minutes. What I should just do is have a cut off point, and if they haven't seen me by then, I need to just go because I can't miss this ferry. It sounds a bit weird, but is it alright if I film you taking it out? Oh, well, you can ask the girl that's doing it. Oh, really? Are you? You're not doing it. <laughs> A nice lady in blue. Okay, brilliant. <laughs> Thanks. You little monkey. There's none left in there, is there? No. Right, I'll just give it away. All right, then. Yeah. Catch your ferry. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for that. All right, they removed the tick. Biggest one I've ever had. I think probably it's been there a couple of days and I just didn't realize. So gross. Oh, I feel queasy now. I wouldn't actually mind if it was just a gross thing, if it was just like, ugh, tick, ooh, how annoying. But the frustrating thing is that they can potentially carry Lyme disease. It's a disease, it's not nice, and I don't want to get it. Over the bridge to Anglesey. You know, it's brilliant. I walked into a hospital in a place that I don't know very well at all, and within 20 minutes, maybe even less, I was able to see someone, got treated, and then walked straight out. Didn't have to pay a thing. So good. So, nice one, NHS. Hi there. Yes, it is. Yeah. Display your hand, yeah, Great. Thanks. Hey, yeah. Uh, Thirteen. Great. Thanks. Exciting times. So uh, at the ferry port now, just waiting in line, and yeah, just taking the opportunity to do a bit of editing. Welcome to my glamorous life. Like glamorous. Cool. Also, the other, my other frustration, you know, which was the cause for the dodgy sound earlier, is this this lead from GoPro. This seems to have broken or something. So uh, these are my troubles. It's a hard life. So it looks like we're on the move. And the 
here we go, onto the ferry. Here we are, and head up to the deck. It'd be great to find somewhere to plug in, if I can. I think I spend half my life looking for plugs. Just arrived in Dublin. It's uh, midnight. So uh, the reason I'm here in Dublin is kind of for two reasons. One reason is for work, and then secondly, my brother lives here with his wife and my little baby niece. And so I'm here to see them. And they live down in a little, really nice little town called Greystones, which is south of Dublin. So I'm basically just gonna travel south, find a forest tonight, and then, uh, yeah, tomorrow first thing. Go see my bro. It's cold. It's really cold. Can't even believe it. Two nights ago, it was so warm. I just used my summer sleeping bag as like a loose sort of blanket on top of me. Tonight, I'm getting out my winter sleeping bag for the first time since the spring. I feel like really chilly. So, quite keen to get set up and get to bed. <sighs> okay, so I'm all set up now. This is my winter four season down sleeping bag. Absolutely going for it. And I'm wearing a jumper as well. I feel like I need to sleep well tonight, so can't take any chances. Yeah, bedtime. So, I'm feeling really, really toasty and warm. Slept so, so well last night. Absolutely amazing. I think I got it just right as well. Just my normal setup, except for I've got a jumper on and I've got my, my four season down. I think it's uh, an Alpkit Sky High 900 down sleeping bag. And I love this thing, it's so good. You know, when you're hammock camping, it's such a fine balance to get the temperature right, you know. The teeniest, tiniest little change can be the difference between a really good night's sleep and just feeling a bit cold and miserable. And actually this morning, when I woke up, I actually had to unzip the sleeping bag a little bit because I was slightly too hot. But yeah, once I did that, it was just perfect, so. So the other quite cool thing is that I was super close to the ground last night. It's funny, when I first started hammock camping, I'd always be as high off the ground as possible, so I'd be like, you know, what if something gets me? But now I actually really love being really close to the ground if I can be. All right, so let me show you around this place properly. So this is my setup. It's uh, this morning light today. You know, on this side, I'm quite close to the ground. And then over here, there's a bit more height because obviously we're a bit of a hill here. What is this? Who does that? Who comes here and does that? Like, if you're going to come somewhere as beautiful as this, just take your rubbish with you, surely. Unbelievable. All right, so I'm going to pack all this down, and I'm going to go head over and see my brother and his family. It's Dodge. Don't know if you can see that. That's the view. Look at that. Certain focus, my camera doesn't do auto focus, so also this tripod doesn't hold up my camera. I miss the GoPro. Here we are. Just realised that the last three episodes of this vlog, including this one, have been three sequential days. So two days ago I was having breakfast with uh, Jess, Julianne, Leon and Faye. Yesterday, I was in Snowdonia. Today? No. Three days ago, I was having breakfast. Two days ago, I was in Snowdonia. Yesterday, I was in Bangor. Today, I'm in Ireland. Uncle Steph. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Uncle Steph. Hey. Hey. Okay. Where did you sleep last night? Just up in the mountains. We clear mountains? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm at my brother's house now. This is my brother Danny. This is my sister-in-law Umi. Hello. And this is my little niece, Senna. Hello. 
Dublin. Gonna hang out in the biggest city in the world. Dublin. Biggest. Keep Dublin in Dublin. What? Can you say goodbye? Huh? Sella. Can Bye. you say goodbye? <laughs> no.